Namaste, hello and welcome to another FB Live session. Today, we're delving into the topic of partial knee replacement, which is a transformative surgical procedure that addresses knee damage that are caused by conditions such as arthritis. To guide us in understanding all that we need to know about partial knee replacement surgery, we are joined by our expert, Dr. Kunal Patel, consultant orthopedic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals Greens Road, Chennai. Welcome to our FB Life, Doctor. Namaste. What is partial knee replacement surgery, Doctor? And how does it refill, uh, or rather, how does it differ from a total knee replacement procedure? So, partial knee replacement surgery basically involves changing only one compartment of the knee joint. To make it simple, the knee has three compartments which articulate with each other. Of them, all the three compartments can develop arthritis or wear and tear of the knee joint. When one of the compartments are involved, we can do a partial knee replacement that is replace only the compartment that has been damaged and leave the other two compartments natural and normally as they exist along with the ligaments in the knee joint. So uh, what are the conditions or damage that typically you know lead a patient uh, to an orthopedic expert and deciding on a partial knee replacement? So basically partial knee replacement is a procedure uh, which is replacing the knee joint for arthritis. Now, usually the symptoms that the patients experience, these are one of the earlier symptoms, that is they experience symptoms like pain while walking, pain while climbing stairs, inability to squat. They realize that their day-to-day -day activities have become a little bit more painful. So approximately what happens is about 20 to 30% of their whole day, they live in pain. So a situation like this, along with an x-ray which shows that we have only one compartmental involvement in the knee joint will be the right indication for the patient to undergo partial knee replacement. So what are the benefits of a partial knee replacement for patients uh, suffering with a knee pain for a very long time doctor? So I'll tell you the benefits for partial knee replacement are many. The most important thing is that we are leaving the joint as natural as possible. We are only replacing the part of the joint that has got arthritic and leaving the natural joints, the normal joints, normal. And what we have in our body, what we are born with is always the best. It can never be replaced and will never be as good as an artificial joint and hence the partial knee replacement has a lot of beneficial, beneficial things like, for example, the ligaments in the partial knee replacement are the natural ligaments that exist. Whereas in the total knee replacement, what happens is that we have to sacrifice one of the ligaments in the knee joint and hence the natural kinematics, the movement, the natural way the knee moves is altered a little bit. And hence, with partial knee replacement, you can probably do everything that you can imagine in terms of like doing almost you can jog, you can play most of the sporting activities that you want, you can squat, you can uh, do 90% of the things that you can do with a normal knee joint which is not possible with a total knee replacement. Although total knee replacement is a fantastic surgery, but Partial knee replacement has these certain advantages over total knee replacement. So how do you determine doctor whether a patient actually needs a partial knee replacement or a total knee replacement? So the thing is partial knee replacement is involves only changing one compartment of the joint amongst the three compartments. So when a patient has more than one compartment involvement where two of the compartments out of the three compartments or all three compartments are involved then we need to undergo a total knee replacement and that would be the right indication for the patient to undergo a total knee replacement because in such a situation a partial knee replacement would fail. So uh, what is the process when you advise a patient that he or she has to undergo a partial knee replacement? What is the process of preparing for a partial knee replacement from the patient's point of view? So today 100% of my partial knee replacements are done robotic way. So I will explain to you the robotic way. The reason is the robotic partial knee replacement has 
uh, a lot of advantages because the partial knee replacement requires millimeter to millimeter accuracy which we are able to achieve with the robotic way along with longevity of the implant. So I will give you an idea of the robotic pathway that we do once the patient we decide on partial knee replacement. So once the patient we have decided on partial knee replacement, the patient gets her CT scans done. The CT scan images are sent to the company lab where this images are screened and the images are put in a software which we visualize and then we plan how to fit the implant to millimeter to millimeter accuracy in the patient's knee joint in the patient's anatomy and then we confirm the plan this is what we do prior to the surgery and what the patient needs to do is just come one day prior to the surgery and this planning will be done besides that they just need to prep for their blood values blood tests and her regular anesthetic checkup. This is all that they need to do prior to coming in for a uh, partial knee replacement. And of course, one thing which is never the least, we spend about half an hour with every patient because the most important thing is counseling. And the most important thing is for the patient to understand what to expect after the surgery because that is what leads to the success or failure of a particular surgery. That helps us, uh, doctor and the patient, on the same page. Yes, absolutely. They need to be on the same page because that, then you're walking the same line. Correct. So when we talk about implants that are used for a partial knee replacement, uh, what are the different types of implants that are used, doctor? And how do they function? So now we have come uh, a long way in the partial knee replacement and partial knee replacements were a rare occurrence about say 20 years ago and as the time has gone the implants have changed. So now the implants that we have basically are a fixed bearing implant and a mobile bearing implant. Most of what I do now is a fixed bearing. Fixed bearing meaning that the implant which is on the tibia on the lower part of the bone the liner is fixed to the bone. The mobile bearing is the liner moves along with the knee joint. So both have their advantages and both have their disadvantages. But what I use is a fixed bearing implant, basically just to give you an idea of what the implants are made of, because that is a question which all of you have. Uh, they're made of titanium and a mixed alloy and they are all MRI compatible. You can go anywhere in the world. You can go to any airport and there is no problem with these implants. And you have a liner in between, which is a polyethylene liner between both the implants. Doctor, another commonly asked question from our viewers is, what is the lifetime of these implants? How long do they last? And what happens after that? So the partial knee replacement lasts for about 10 to 15 years. The longevity of the implant has increased drastically with the robotic and hence that is why I do the robotic knee surgery. And the partial knee replacement basically fails when the other two compartments of the knee start to get involved. And in a situation like that, it is a very simple procedure where the partial knee replants have to be taken out and then we just put in a total knee replacement and which will last them a lifetime then. It does last a lifetime. Yes. That's great, doctor. Yeah. So coming to the potential risks involved, what are the risks and complications associated with partial knee replacements? So the complications with partial knee replacement are very less. Uh, one of the only risks that have, that are, the risks that are there with partial knee replacement is that there is a possibility of early loosening of the implants. Maybe that it has been that the other two compartments get involved uh, faster and that you need to change it into a total knee replacement earlier. Uh, that mainly happens because of a malalignment or when the surgery is not done accurately. Otherwise, the complications that are there with uh, partial knee replacement are very minimal and they are some of the most basic complications which can be there in any surgery which include uh, neurological complications and cardiac complications which are less than 0.1% of the patients. Doctor, is age a criteria or gender a criteria to decide whether a patient undergoes partial knee replacement or should go in for a total knee replacement? Uh, nor age, nor the gender is a criteria for undergoing partial or total knee replacement. The only thing that we make a criteria for undergoing partial knee replacement is a BMI of above 40. 
Patients with a BMI of about 40 are suggested to undergo a total knee replacement. In fact, what we suggest them is for first is to undergo a bariatric surgery, bring their BMI down and then it is better to go in for a, any replacement surgery. Doctor, is age a criteria or is gender a criteria to decide whether a patient undergoes partial knee replacement or a total knee replacement? Um, nor age nor gender is the criteria for a patient to undergo partial or total knee replacement. Um, the only criteria that I look at for a partial or a total knee replacement, in fact, is only a BMI of about 40 or 45. What happens in such situations is I always recommend my patients, unless they are unable to walk at all, I recommend them to take all the measures and to reduce their weight and bring their BMI down to below 40 and then come in for a surgical intervention because the success of the surgical intervention is much better and the longevity of the implant is much better after with a lower BMI lesser than a 40. Uh, doctor, once the procedure is done or uh, once the recovery process sets in, what is it that a patient to, should expect? number one and how is the post-operative care once the recovery with partial knee replacement the recovery is phenomenal it's fabulous and i'll tell you how it goes basically the day you have done your surgery that day you are made to walk and what happens is that you can walk the same day to the restroom with the walker and come back and um, in fact you, as you can also start doing your knee bending and most of the things that you require to do for the first one week to 10 days is taught to you at the first day. And hence, you absolutely don't need to stay in the hospital because your antibiotics are being changed to oral antibiotics. So nothing that you take requires an IV or intravenous uh, injection. And now what we are doing is we are doing this partial knee replacement in a very in a daycare setting. What happens is the next day the physiotherapist will come to your house and just motivate you to walk. And the nice thing about partial knee replacement, since your knee is as natural as possible, is that you will be uh, very comfortable walking uh, the second day. I'm not saying comfortable as in before surgery versus after surgery, but very comfortable within 14 days of the surgery you will be walking without a walker you will be able to do all the activity that you want to do within a month of surgery i would suggest my patients to take off from their work for a month post partial knee replacement the reason i'm saying one month is just because it is nice to be at home and rehabilitate at home and not strain your knee in the first one month since we are putting a new implant. Your body is adjusting to a new implant. Hence, one month is required. But I know a lot of people who go back to work in two weeks. But my personal suggestion is take a break for a month. And after a month, you're allowed to do everything. You can go for a holiday. In case you want to go for your treks or you want to start sporting activity, I would suggest at least wait six months before you can start because you need to understand how your knee is doing. You need to understand how your muscles are and then slowly, gradually, you will be able to do everything. Great, doctor. So apart from uh, the break of a month that you had prescribed, uh, are there any precautions that our patients should take to ensure that the there's a longevity of this implant and it's taken well, care well taken care of? Uh, that is the phenomenal thing of partial knee. You don't need to do anything. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the implant. It will last when it's done well. Speaking of a few complications that might arise, what are the short term or long term complications that a patient might face uh, when he undergoes a partial knee replacement? See, the only complication that I look at with a partial knee replacement, it's not a common complication, it's a very rare complication. It happens in less than 1% of the patients and that is infection. This is a dreaded complication. This can be an early complication as well as a late complication. 
other than that the only other complication that is a common that that i can tell you post operatively is uh, is fracture which you must prevent yourself from falling down because periprosthetic fractures which you call fractures around an implant are more difficult to fix and they have uh, uh, they have uh, they have a longer rehab process uh, in comparison to a fracture otherwise so these are the two important complications which you must know after the partial knee replacement otherwise if the implant is done well if the surgery is done well pain is one of the problems that some people less than 5% of the people experience and that may be there for about 2 months and out of the 5% 4% of them the pain disappears in 1% of the pain, people the pain may exist and the reason that the pain exists could be multiple and one of the most important things that can be there is the malalignment of the implant or it can be that the expectations that the patient should have from the surgery has not been explained to the patient prior to the surgery and hence the the patient is not happy and that mild pain is causing more trouble and in case there's pain for more than four five months it must always be investigated into on the cause of the pain doctor are there any new advancements in surgical techniques or implant designs for partial knee replacement uh, so partial knee replacement now what we have uh, the surgical techniques have become better and that is what I would like to say is the robotic technique the robotic technique has transformed the outcomes of uh, partial knee replacement because partial knee replacement required a high level of accuracy and a high le level of training experience to do it the manual way because accuracy is the key to achieving a longer life and a better and a happy patient which we are able to achieve with the, the robotic technique and hence that has transformed the outcome of a partial knee replacement and that is why 99% of my patients I do a robotic knee replacement there have we have come a long way in terms of pain management we have come a long way in terms of anesthesia so the pain is much much lesser because our incisions are very small they are minimally invasive invasive approaches and what we give you the day after the surgery we give you a single shot block which blocks the nerve and hence you almost experience like 10% pain after surgery and these are the advances that we have now got in terms of um, replacement which makes it much of an easier and more uh, lesser a mo better surgery to have and for patients to be less afraid of wonderful doctor we'll take some questions from our viewers how does partial knee replacement uh, impact a patient's range of motion and how will the overall knee stability look like so the partial knee replacement the patient will have near normal knee range of motion so if your knee range of motion pre-operative was 120 you will probably have 115 so you are pretty much right there with the knee range of motion in terms of mobility you will be able to do everything that you could do with your normal with a with prior to the knee surgery when you were normal without having the arthritis and you will be able to in over time you will be able to walk about uh, even about 10 kilometers and go for long treks that would not be a problem hello doctor uh, I have been suggested a partial knee replacement surgery will I require any modifications to my lifestyle or home environment post the surgery you will not require any modifications in your home environment or your lifestyle post surgery only one thing is if you have some sort of an obesity uh, which is about 35 40 I would suggest you now since you have the new knee exercise and eat right follow a good diet and follow a healthy lifestyle that is all I would suggest you hi doctor are there any specific medications or supplements that I should avoid before surgery um, there is no specific medications before surgery the only thing is if there is a cardiac problem we suggest them to stop the blood thinners otherwise there is no contraindication to any medication that you are taking prior to surgery or after surgery which is in relation to the surgery we have taken this question doctor before but uh, it's another question that's come up from our viewer how does the implant used in a partial knee replacement differ from that used in a total knee replacement 
So the partial knee replacement only replaces one part of the knee joint and hence the implant is a very small implant which sits on the tibia which is the knee joint what the lower part of the knee joint and the femur which is the upper part of the knee joint versus a total knee replacement which has an implant which sits on the tibia on both the parts of the tibia and on the femur on both the condyles of the femur and hence this both these parts are articulating with the tibia and hence it is called a total knee replacement along with that there's a third a compartment which is called the patellofemoral compartment which is also articulating with the femur and all these three compartments are also can be changed and that is what is called as a total knee replacement. My mother is 75 years old and is unable to go about her daily activities because of her severe knee pain. How do you determine if she would need a partial knee replacement considering her overall health and medical history? Uh, See, if she is having severe knee pain, the first thing that we need to analyze is does she have a single compartment involvement that is one compartment of the knee is spoiled or arthritic or it is all the three compartments or it's more than one compartment. If she has severe knee pain, I would think that she is uh, more a candidate for a total knee replacement. The reason being that she may have one or more compartment involvement, but in all said and done, the x-ray is the most important thing to do. If the x-ray involves only one compartment, then age is not a factor to do a partial knee replacement. In fact, 74 is a great age to do partial knee replacement because uh, she would probably not need to undergo any other surgery in her lifetime. And even if she needs to, it will be perfect for her even after that. So what would be your message to our viewers, doctor, today? All I would like to say is since we are talking about this topic, uh, partial knee replacement, it's a relatively newer topic. It's relatively lesser done surgery. Um, I would suggest people to come into the hospital earlier in their problem so that what happens is that they are diagnosed early and they can have the advantage of doing a surgery which has uh, such a lot of advantages in the early stages of their disease instead of waiting until they develop deformities and they're pretty much not able to walk which is what I see mostly in my practice that they literally come to us when they're not able to walk and that leads to a very depressed mind and soul. So I would suggest and tell people and patients to come earlier in their problem. They do not need to undergo a surgery and they should not be afraid of the surgery because we are here to explain to them and the final choice is yours. But understanding is first step towards the treatment and hence uh, that would be my message. Thank you. Thank you very much doctor for extensively helping us understand about partially replacement its advantages and who would actually be a qualifying candidate for partial knee replacement. For appointments with Dr. Kunal Patel, consultant orthopedic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals Greens Road, Chennai, please contact 044-4040-1066. I repeat, for appointments with Dr. Kunal Patel, consultant orthopedic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals Greens Road, Chennai, please contact 044-4040-1066. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you, viewers. Thank you.